welcome to our channel so viewers in today's this video we going to discuss about the expansion strategies so expansion strategies are the second type of corporate level strategies so corporate level strategies we discuss the uh, stability strategy in previous video and today we are going to discuss about the expansion strategy so in expansion strategy the company want to expand a business so their focus is on expansion of their business expansion can be a uh, part of developing new product and targeting the new market or they can have the same product and uh targeting the another market so uh, expansion is any way company want to expand their business increase the profit increase the growth uh, capture the maximum market share so for this expansion there are the different strategies so those are the first one the first expansion strategies which company follows the first one is expansion through concentration so it is a concent creation strategy second one is integration strategy then diversification fourth one is cooperation then internationalization and digitalization so these are the uh, different types which company can be used for expanding their business so company can concentrate they can integrate they can diversify or they can cooperate with some members even though they can think on to go international level for selling their products and even though they can use the digitalization for expansion so these are the types which uh, are the uh, useful for expanding the business the first one is uh, concentration so concentration means what focusing on particular things so concentration uh, may be uh, on the product um, a particular product there may be the concentration on particular market or there may be the concentration on uh, particular uh, means they can focus on the cost minimize the cost or they can think about the concentration or adding a new product into their product line so concentrating on particular things concentrating on key benefits and using uh, that concentration for growing business is one of the uh, strategy for expansion so in concentration strategy when an organization focus on intensifying its core business with a view on expanding through either acquiring a new customer base or diversifying its product portfolio so it is having a concentration strategy so concentration strategy means company can concentrate on their core business they can concentrate on their current business and which is uh, which is giving a good returns to business so they can focus on that business and trying to grow that business or they can try to uh, target another segment with the same business or they can add a new product into their existing product line so they can concentrate either on a product either on a market or adding the features into the product so through this concentration company can expand their business if they are uh, adding a new product into their product line obviously they are concentrating on their product and they are giving a new product to the market so they trying to expand otherwise they can go with the same product to the uh, new market obviously they are expanding the market and it is also the concentration strategy so for this there is a one model that is a ansop product market matrix so this is a model where it can uh, use for the expansion here you can say at a horizontal line there are the existing products and new products and vertical line the new market and existing market so if if company want uh, to exist want to Uh, ex uh, work on the existing product with existing market then this quadrant is called as a market penetration here what happens company working on a same level they are having a same product 
and they are into the same market so they are penetration they are at the penetration level and they are uh, you can say at this uh, they try to maximize a profit so they are at the penetration stage they neither think about uh, for a new product or not uh, for a new market whatever product and whatever their target market they work on that same product with same market it is a market penetration so it is a one quadrant the second one is product development in product development uh, the company have a existing market but but they add a new product so when adding a new product then it is a product development so they think about a new product into their product line and if they are adding a new product uh, obviously uh, the customers for that product will increase and company can expand their business so it is a product development then third quadrant that is a market development in market development company company having a same product you can say existing product and they are uh, going with new market with existing product so it is a market development when there is a new market it is a market development when there is a new product it is a product development and when company think about go with a new product with new market then it is a diversification they totally uh, new in a product as well as in a market so they are not having a existing product or existing market they try to go with a new product with new market so this is a model guide for the expansion on the basis of product and market company can decide their strategy and this model is also known as the uh, uh, ansops model ansops product matrix so as i discuss there are the four quadrant in iger and sops model the first one is market penetration second one is market development third one is product development and fourth one is diversification market penetration means uh, achieve a growth in existing products in their current market segment so they are working on a existing product and existing market but they are trying to seek a maximum growth for same product into the same market so uh, the aim of this this uh, quadrant is to increase its market share so penetration uh, is uh, penetration strategy's aim is to increase the market share in a market development the firm seeks growth by targeting its existing product to new market so what happens in market development company have a uh, their existing product but they are thinking about to enter in a new market so while entering in new market they can capture the new customers and obviously they can grow their business in new product development stage uh, the product is a new and they are targeting in a existing market so uh, they are uh, and the last strategy that is a uh, diversification strategy so uh, according to ansop in diversification uh, company can produce a new product and they can enter in a new market so new product with new market it is a uh diversification strategy so new product with new market is a diversification strategy so uh, concentration strategies can be of this type that is market penetration market development product development so market development where selling the same product to a new market market penetration selling a more products in a same market same market same product but selling a more products and product development selling a new products to the same market so these are the types of concentration strategies so the example that is bajaj auto has undertaken all the above mentioned strategies so bajaj auto uh, use all these strategies that is a integration strategy so integration means combining the activity there is a integration between the companies or company can integrate for combining their activities for resources or share share the benefits so integration is useful for sharing the benefits so it can be possible by integration 
विथ एक्टिविटीज और बाय शेयरिंग दी सोर्सेज सो इंटीग्रेशन मीन्स कंबाइनिंग एक्टिविटीज रिलेटेड टू प्रेजेंट एक्टिविटी ऑफ कंपनी सो वेन दे आर कंबाइनिंग एक्टिविटी वी कैन कॉल इट इंटीग्रेशन इंटीग्रेशन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द डाइवर्सिफिकेशन सो यू कैन से इंटीग्रेशन कैन बी अ डाइवर्सिफिकेशन इट वाइडन्स द स्कोप फॉर अ कंपनी एज फार एज द मार्केट पेनिट्रेशन इज कंसर्न सो इंटीग्रेशन एट द स्कोप बिकॉज इफ टू कंपनीज आर इंटीग्रेटिंग सो दे आर कंबाइनिंग देयर रिसोर्सेज ऑब्वियसली देर आर देन आफ्टर द आफ्टर द कॉम्बिनेशन देर आर द मोर रिसोर्सेज एंड इफ देर आर द मोर रिसोर्सेज टेक्निकल नो हाउ कंपनी कैन ग्रो इन अ फास्टर वे सो इंटीग्रेशन इज वन ऑफ द स्ट्रैटेजी विच कंपनी कैन यूज फॉर एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द बिजनेस देन हॉरिजेंटल इंटीग्रेशन सो इंटीग्रेशन इज ऑफ टू टाइप द फर्स्ट वन इज हॉरिजेंटल इंटीग्रेशन एंड सेकेंड वन इज वर्टिकल इंटीग्रेशन सो हॉरिजेंटल इंटीग्रेशन टेक्स प्लेस वेन द सेम टाइप्स ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स एट अ सेम लेवल ऑफ द प्रोडक्शन और मार्केटिंग प्रोसेस सेट द फॉलो स्ट्रैटेजी ऑफ हॉरिजेंटल इंटीग्रेशन मर्जर और एक्विजिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज कंपनी the both the two companies both are into the retailing activity so they think that they should come together and they work as a uh, one business single business so both come together and start the same activity it is a horizontal so it is a same level integration at a same level for same product or for same market then it is a horizontal integration then another type that is a vertical integration vertical integration means company add a new activity into their existing uh, business so they are adding a activity that's why it's a vertical they are trying to be, uh, add uh, more functions into the business for example the thermal power company may do coal mining so coal mining is added to the thermal power so it is a uh, vertical integration so Uh, vertical integration again can be divided into two types the forward and backward if adding a forwarded activity for example if wholesaler starting a retailing activity it is a forward integration and if wholesaler start the procurement activities then it is a uh, backward uh, integration so vertical integration again have a two type the forward and backward so vertical means adding a new activity Uh, relate new related activity to the business then next diversification strategy when company think about for a new product into the new market then it is a diversification as we discuss in ansop mo- model so diversification again of two type one is concentric or related diversification and second one is uh, conglomerate or unrelated diversification so when company uh, diversified with Uh, the related business if company into the food processing and they starting a new product then it is a related diversification and if company into the food business and they started a, a, a mining industry so it is a unrelated diversification thank you for watching this video